Hey, if you're listening to this, could you really quick snap your fingers three times? On the count of three, you ready? One, two, three. Show off. Look what I can do, Capper. Look what you can't do. Whatever. <laughs> Capper's back. This is another zombie video. My, I'm doing a bunch today. I'm just trying to get these all ready to go for tomorrow night zombie action. Black Ops, baby. So here's another video that I gaffed off the internet. I don't know who it belongs to. This isn't me playing. <laughs> I definitely would play a little bit better than this, even though I play and only use me face. Um, so he, this is Pentagon. This is five. This is the map that I believe is unlocked whenever you complete the single player campaign. There's quick revive. The power is on it. You don't need to turn the power on. And in single player, it revives you um, when you go down. You can buy it up to three times and then it disappears. So that is a really cool new feature that I am psyched for. Because I've had so many games where it's been like round three and I get double tapped and I'm down. It's just crazy. So if you notice this guy, he, um, as we've been watching, if you watch my other videos, this guy does a little bit better. I'm a little, I'm a little bit hard on the people whose videos I'm sort of picking apart here with zombies. But just some of their techniques and tactics of not getting guns. And I'm so glad he didn't buy that gun off the wall. Because you really want to just, for points concerns, you want to get to the submachine guns. That's where the money is. The shotguns and the super powerful guns that you'll see in the box later on. Yeah, not what you want. Now the Pentagon, this one five has three, um, three levels that I've seen so far that you access with elevators, which is kind of cool. The elevator thing—it's going to be a good time. And you can play as JFK, Fidel Castro, Richard Nixon, and some other guy. I'm not exactly sure who he is, but he's not somebody that stands out in history. But I love the little video. You got JFK. I mean, you got uh, Richard Nixon with dual akimbos. <laughs> So awesome. Good times to be had. I've also seen somebody like when they leave one of those windows open so you can see if a zombie's coming up, one of the window cracks, you don't repair the windows on the doors all the way. That's kind of a cool little idea, just so you can look down and see if they're coming up that that way and you can take a pot shots at them. Good, finally got a submachine gun. I like it. Got the insta kill. Now I'd go I might go knife here. Um, I, you know, that's, it's all depends. Maybe go with the pull. It's your goal. You just want to save your ammo. Maximize your points. And with insta kill, I believe the points are the same. If you shoot them or knife them, it's not that. So don't risk. Sometimes it's better not to risk getting near them with a knife. So, um, the next video I'm going to put out is this same map. Um, five or Pentagon. But it shows the guy going down some of the levels. So you get to see some of the substructure and how the elevators work and I think the elevators were 250 a pop to go up and down them very good call not getting the bomb it's interesting because I'm seeing these two different players play they're not the same player or he's learned some lessons I'm trying to let the guys in yeah I get the bomb now I would I'm just gonna kill one guy or whatever M to the A to the but yeah, avoid those bombs up until level 20 and then just go crazy for them. So now he's going to get quick revive, I believe. Still no on that. If you just saw right there to the left, that's where the shotgun is. I do not recommend... People like the shotgun. It's a two-shot, the Olympia. It's super strong, of course. It's a shoddy. But the only problem with it is that you only get 50 points to kill, I think. Um, if it's the same as World at War, same sort of situation. Whereas you think about all the collateral kills you can get with a submachine gun and you can just spray. I'll just spray the zombies' bodies and just stay away from headshots just to rack up the points. So, it's a, just an idea, something that I recommend and will definitely help you get ranking up. As of right now, I still have no idea what the third level of zombies oh, this is. Works. I do know what Dead Ops Arcade is and that's kind of cool. It's a top-down shooter that you can play. Uh, Call of Duty top-down action. Should be cool. Um, yeah, so petition's going awesome, guys. Over 11,300 SIGs. There's some spam on there, though. <laughs> some porn sites have found it, so they've been bumping up the petition a little. <laughs> I'm trying to get those removed because I wanted to really represent the community, but 
Still doing awesome, and it's all because of you guys. I really appreciate it. So here we're on level four, and the zombies are starting to get a little move to them. Buy that quick revive ASAP, yo. Yeah, that quick revive is gonna be. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get the submachine guns, and then I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit the quick revive right away, and then my next thing's gonna be Juggernaut and speed reload. Well, maybe well, I'm gonna get one more submachine gun. I think that, yeah, just having subs is super, super important. And that's all. He's down, level four. I plan on getting past level four. I plan on level tening my first uh, first rounds. If I have my camera back, I'll try and record it, but I'm, it's not looking like Kodak's going to get my camera back to me in enough time. So I won't be filming my first games of Zombie, unfortunately. Maybe I will with my iPhone, but it's going to look just completely heinous. So thanks, guys, for the petition support. I love you. And... I hope you guys like my joke in the beginning. And feel free to pass the petition on to your friends, family, concubines, enemies, um, people that you want to share it with. I really appreciate you sharing it. So be awesome, guys. Game on, gamers. Peace in your crease.